ladies and gentlemen, boys and Gahoon! <laughs> Gahoon! Man, that was a fucking obscure as hell World of Warcraft reference. And that's how I'm starting the podcast this week, because fuck everyone who doesn't play the game. And you know what? I love that shit. 24 years old, fucking love me some World of Warcraft. I've been playing that shit since I, since I was 12. Since it came out, grade 6, man, fucking World of Warcraft, still playing it. Except I play it way less, I don't have any time, man. My fucking week has been so busy. I, I don't know how I'm awake, man. I'm going to lose my voice today, I bet. Because today, oh, before I get into it, uh, Melbourne and Perth have both sold out. Thank you very much to everyone who's booked tickets. Uh, all of the shows are going fucking crazy. Brisbane's getting close to sold out. Sydney has about 40 seats left. I think less than that even. So if you're from Sydney, buy your tickets today if you're listening to this. Because uh, next week we're going to roll out the new marketing campaign with like stand-up clips. And it's going to be over. So grab your tickets fucking now if you haven't. Um, I know they're, eight, they're they're quite a while away, but they're, they're all selling out. Uh, except for Bendigo. If you're from Bendigo, please stop freaking me out, man. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going all over. LooseSpears.com slash gigs if you want to get your ticket. Shows are selling out already, and uh, we haven't even really started the big marketing campaign yet. So... Uh, that's fucking great. Thank you very much. Uh, and if you don't live in Australia or New Zealand, there's my comedy special too. Right. What? Oh man, what I've been doing this week, I'm going to lose my voice today. I'm telling you because, uh, today, this morning, before recording this, it's Sunday. I'm recording it on Sunday. Uh, I have filmed a Lou review on the Logan Paul KSI fight, which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, that's being edited at the moment by, uh, by our editing guy, uh, Keelan. And, um... Now I'm doing a podcast, and as soon as I finish this, I need to run into the meeting room for the radio show, and I'm going to do the radio show. So all day, I've been fucking talking, and I'm going to lose my voice. So I've got myself a nice big tea. Big tea. I still got two phones, man. This two phone shit is is out of control. It's taken over my life, two phones. I I can't... uh, Every, every, every time... I have more than one thing. I just go, two things. Every time I see a girl, I just want to scream at her, two tits. <laughs> Every time I see a guy walking down the street, I want to go, two nuts. I got two phones. One for the fans and one for the hoes. What would the two phones of, um, what would two phones for com- comedians be? I got two phones. One for the fans and one for... Centrelink. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been so fucking busy this week because, um, well, the, the tour is coming up, so I'm just trying to get everything done so that when the tour is happening, all I have to do is the show and then a video once a week. Um, so I'm just really trying to catch up on all of the shit that we're a little bit behind on. Um, so we're trying to get all of the merchandise out. And man, thank you very much to everyone's pay for everyone's patience. We've sent out... I think the most amount of merch I've ever sent out in a week would be 20 things. And uh, this week we sent out 700 uh, bits of merch. And we still have a few hundred left to go. So thanks to everyone for everyone's patience. It's all of the comedy special stuff. There's a big backlog. We upgraded our whole shipping system. We've started using couriers that get pick it up from my warehouse and take it straight to you. So it's express. There's no fucking... Australia Post stuff, but all of the um, all of the regional, every, everyone who lives, I think we're through absolutely everyone who lives in uh, in the major cities, apart from a few people, and now it's just regional and international people who don't have their stuff, pretty much. There's a few people in cities that the courier places don't deliver to, but we're just waiting on Australia Post to give us some fucking contract so that we can start shipping with them and they'll pick it up. Because uh, we just can't take that much shit down to a post office. It's too much. Um, but all everyone's merch will be out. I reckon in the next two or three weeks, we'll be back to zero things to send out. And everyone will have their stuff. So thanks for all your patience. Uh, really do appreciate it. But yeah, oh, that's why. Oh, that's why I'm also recording this at the radio studio. Because the podcast space is getting upgraded. Uh, I should be back to it next week because it's all upgraded now uh and plugged in it's just the whole warehouse i'm like there's there's people there right now and i'm not even there just sending shit out 
Um, so that's what's been happening. I've just been there every fucking day, signing shit, signing shit, packing, unfolding, do. And you know what I've realized, man? I am the reason why uh, the environment's been destroyed. It's me. It's me. Sorry, guys. I just, I just, I, it, it's me. I've destroyed the planet. I have, I, do you have any idea how much fucking rubbish happens when you ship something? Let me tell you, every time I ship out something, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. Don't let this, don't let this discourage you from buying shit from my warehouse. Every time I ship something, man, you know what? It's fucking unavoidable. Until we invent something that's better than plastic and actually f degrades without sitting there for 10,000 years wrapped around a dolphin's dick. I don't know what the fuck, how we're going to reverse this shit. Because I try so hard to recycle. I'm about, I'm going to get a keep cup, I've decided. I'm going to be one of those cunts. I've been thinking about it for ages. But I've been getting like one coffee a day and all those cups are just fucking somewhere. They all, they're, every single one of them exists. So I'm going to get a keep cup. And you know what? I'm going to lose that keep cup. I know that for sure. I will lose it and then I'll buy another one and then I'll lose it and then I'll buy another one. And then I'll have three cups... But that's, that's the thing, man. Like, I think it's fucking impossible. Every time I ship something, right? So I have bags that your shit goes into. And my bags come in a bag. So I open up the bag and I take the bags out. And then I put the bag in the bin. That's one bit of rubbish. And then every time I ship something, there's like sticky glue shit. So you don't have to, so you don't have to like tape it shut. There's sticky glue all, already over it. And you've got to pull, pull the strip off. And then that plastic bit goes in the bin, and then you clamp it down. And then it gets sent out to you. And then you get your bag, and then you put it in the bin, and then it goes straight into a fish's mouth. And then a bird picks that up and then feeds it to its, like, baby, and then the baby chokes on the bag, and then a, a turtle comes and eats the baby, and then the turtle dies. And then with that one bag, we've, like, taken out fucking 100 fish. Birds and turtles. And who knows how the fuck they made that glue, right? They probably crushed up a bunch of horses. I don't know. I, it's just like it, it. I feel so defeated every time. Every time I try and recycle, like I'm like, oh, I saved a bit there, saved a bit there, and then uh, all of a sudden I have to buy like fucking a thousand bags to post out across the world, and it's like, well, I, I just undid all of the work I've been doing tenfold. <laughs> But hey, at least the supermarkets in Australia don't use bags anymore. Or do they? Can What is it with Australia? We can't fucking decide anything, man. We can't decide any... We, gotta, we, we can't... If you're not from Australia, recently our big supermarkets in Melbourne banned plastic bags. And then before they banned it, they were like, Hey guys, just so you know, we're going to ban plastic bags on this day. And they put signs everywhere. They ran TV ads, radio ads. I was hearing it on the radio every fucking day. I was so sick of it. We were talking about it on the radio every day. So was every other show. Everyone in the whole country knew that supermarkets were going to ban plastic bags on this day. Everyone had like two months notice. <sighs> Sorry, I got a bit of cold. I think I've been working too much in the fucking warehouse because it's so cold. Everyone knew. And then... The ban takes place, and the whole whole fucking country loses their mind. Oh my god, I wasn't ready. Bring back the bags. And all these fucking old idiots who didn't prepare were like, Ugh, bring back the bag. It's slightly inconvenient for me. Fuck the planet. And then the supermarkets caved to them. And we're like, alright, we'll bring back the bag. In like two days. It's like, dude, why did you even do it in the first place if you're going to fucking... That, I reckon there should be a new law. There should be a new law, man. Every time something's done, if a fucking spastic complains about it, they go to jail. <laughs> if you're a fucking idiot and you complain, you get locked away. 
Oh, uh, bring back the bag. Why aren't there any bags? Oh, hey, dude, they gave you 60 days notice and spent millions of dollars on an advertising campaign to let you know that there were bags. And don't tell me you didn't see any of the ads because they also put posters up in every single supermarket. So unless you stopped eating food for 60 days and survived it, you knew the ban was coming. You're going to jail and they lock him up forever. If you're a fucking idiot and you complain, you go to jail. No parole. Although that would take out 50% of my comment section. Which, <laughs> which, hey, would be a great thing. I got, I oh man, I get some, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to yell about comments again. I got something that fucking, oh, I, that fucking pissed me off. Because I've been, right, as you all, as you guys would know, I have been, for like the first time in my life, since the comedy special came out, as soon as that was done, and uh, Patreon support picked up a bit, and we got the warehouse, and then I picked up an editor, I have been the most consistent, I reckon I have been in the last th three or four years. Like, actually. I'm, I'm going to my YouTube channel now. When I got, I got the warehouse two months ago. And then I was a little bit shaky while I was moving everything in. And then the comedy special came out. Right from when the comedy special trailer came out, about a month and a half ago, almost two months ago, I have released an average of two videos every single week since then for about a month and a half. Two videos a week. Twice a week. I've, ne I've literally never done twice a week. I put out fucking three stand-up clips from the special and the trailer. I did that little fucking tour vlog. And I did uh, a Lou review and a bi-monthly bull. And then three just generic rant videos, right? And I... Oh, sorry, that's me. I reckon I've never had more comments going, Oh, why don't you upload anymore? <laughs> what the fuck do you cunts want from me? What do you mean? Why did I... I've done fucking 12 videos in the last two months, you cunts! What do you want? It's free. Let's not forget the comedy special came out and a podcast every week and a fucking radio show. What the fuck do you want? And I wrote a new show! And it's on sale and I'm going to tour it. What do you want from me? Fucking hell. I can't win, man. All these idiots. You know what it is? It's fucking dumb cunts who see one video and then they don't check your channel for a month and then they go, oh, you didn't release a video for a month. No, fuckhead, you didn't check my channel. It's not my fault that YouTube isn't showing my videos to you. Not that you fucking deserve them, you entitled cunt. Even if I did take six months off, so what? Where was it? Where was the comment that fucking shit me so much? And this guy got ripped for it too. That's classic me, man. I get fucking, on all these videos, I get hundreds, sometimes thousands of positive comments. But then I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty nice. But then I see one and I'll think about it all week. I'll think about it. But you know why? Because I'm petty, man. I'm fucking... Pe I almost ripped this guy, but I was like, nah, not today. But you know what? I'll read you the comment, and then I'll make an official declaration. Where is it? Was it this one? I think it was on the, the, the video, 10 Things I Like About Being Tall. Which, yeah, alright. It wasn't the most in-depth video. It wasn't the most well-thought-out investigative piece of Lure Review content or bi-monthly bullshit, but you know what? It was fucking free. And it was a video. And I thought it was funny. And fuck you, it's my channel. The last one went, well, I'll do it now. I'll follow up with another one. Ten things I hate went great. Ten things I like, hey, why not? Where was it? Oh, yeah, it was this one. Oh, this shit me so much. This comment. 
What happened to bi-monthly bull and those call-out videos you used to do? Lou Review. Those are what got you fans. Now we just get videos about what sucks about being tall, what's great about being tall, and hey, look, I'm on a fetish website for tall people. And it's like, fucking hell, man. What do you want, cunt? It's free. And this guy got ripped for it. Some guy's like, wow, he's diversifying his content. What a cunt. It's like, dude, I've never released more videos. And you know what got me? I've done a fucking lure review and a bi-monthly ball in the last month. It's like, dude, you just, it's not my fault you didn't fucking check my channel. Man. And you know what gets me? You know what makes me the fucking maddest? Is I, at this, when he wrote that comment, I was writing a lure review. And it made me go, fine, I want to do it anymore. <laughs> because... I, it's, it's the little review that's about to come out tonight that uh, Keelan's working on now. Uh, if now when I release that, probably tonight, I think it'll be up. This cunt's gonna be like, ah, oh, yeah, he listened to me. <laughs> no, I didn't. You entitled fucking cunt. I did not. I was doing that before you left the comment. And you know what? I let it slide. I let him slide. But you know what? I'm making an official announcement. An official official announcement starting from today the 26th of August 2018 it is no slide season no slide season is now on and I want everyone behind me on this everyone who listens to the podcast it's no slide season all right I want to see that shit on Twitter I want to see it in the Speared Sundays podcast group it is no slide season Okay, and you know what happens in no slide season? No sliding. No one get, no one, I don't let it slide, alright? It's fucking, it's the year of the petty, starting from today. It's no slide season. If you leave a negative comment or a dumb comment on my shit, it's not sliding. I'm responding. And I'm going to fucking screenshot it. I'm going to put it on my page. And I don't care how big I am compared to the other person. It's no slide season. And I want you cunts to join in. Because, hey, I'm just one man. Alright? I'm not God. I'm not omnipotent. I only have two hands and ten fingers, dude. Two hands. It's... (laughs) I, I can only do so much. And now that it's officially no slide season, I need your help. If you see a dumb cunt, leave something stupid on my page. Don't let it slide. You know why? You know why. It's no slide season. That's why. You rip that dog and you asshole. If anyone complains about free shit, you remind those cunts that they didn't pay for it. If you say, oh, oh, why'd you release this video? Why don't you do that video? Because you fucking, it's no slide season, man. Write whatever you want, as long as it's brutal. That's what it is. I'm officially declaring war on dumb cunts. It is war. I've been... You've, you've heard me. I've been ranting too much about dumb comments. And I've been ignoring them for too long. And I'm taking a stand today. And officially saying... That on August 26, 2018... It is officially no slide season. Watch yourself. And keep an eye out for the dumb cunts, because it's no slide season, alright? When did you put out a lo- Literally, literally two weeks ago. And then, two weeks before that, a bi-monthly ball. And then two weeks before that, a comedy special. It's like, dude, what happened to this? Well, what happened to the, to the other videos you used to make? Hey, what happened to you watching my shit, fuckhead? Oh man, so triggered. But hey, I'm f- ever since announcing no slide season, I'm feeling a lot better. You know what? I'm just gonna write. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick off. I'm gonna kick off no slide season right now. It's free, you dumb cunt. No slide season is officially begun. <laughs> it's free, you dumb cunt. All right, I feel fucking great now. What else did I want to talk about in no slide season? It's free, you dumb cunt. That's great. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, I already feel great, man. Hey, I should end the podcast now. With that, no slide season. It's free, you dumb cunt. That's the official. <laughs> that's the official no slide season slogan. It's free, you dumb cunt. That's the official slogan. And you know what? Hey, if I lose a couple of people over no slide season, f- <laughs> fuck them because it's no slide season and I don't let it slide. All right. And also, okay, speaking of not letting shit slide, let's kick off No Slide Season with a good story about podcast fans, all right? Because, hey, just because you like... I know the, the people who like who listen to the podcast, you guys are my favorites. You know that. You guys are my most valued cunts. You listen to an hour of me ranting alone in a fucking radio studio, not using the professional equipment. I appreciate that. I need to get my inhaler. And then, but, but when I get my inhaler and I, when I return, no slide season will continue. Give me a second. Oh, guys, I'm back. It was in my pocket. (laughs) Sorry. All right. You know what's funny? I, uh, I, I could have, I could have cut that out. I could have got it out of my pocket and then used it when I wasn't recording and then started recording. But you know what? In the spirit of no slide season, I'm not going to let myself slide. Because I just did a fucking stupid thing and I must be punished for it. Goes in your pocket the whole time, fucking. No slide season, I'm telling you. Now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, podcast listeners, my favorite people, alright? However, in the spirit of no slide season, not even podcast fans can slide. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea and then I won't let it, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop letting it slide. You guys need to stop acting like you're my accountant. (laughs) You need to back the fuck off and stop worrying about my money. I'm alright. Stop telling me how to live my life. I'm alright. I've got it under control. I'm not killing it. I'm not not rich. My watch that I joked about last year not working, I still have it still broken. Alright? Last week, I was talking about living on $300 a week. I recently demoted myself from jacket money, which is 400 bucks a week, down to jeans money, which is 300 bucks a week. And I was complaining about living on $300 a week, which is known as saving and living towards a budget. However, in that podcast, I was wearing a nice hat. And I had so many comments going, Oh! If you're on jeans money, you definitely can't afford... You're not on You're not on Gucci money. Hey, man. Hey. Not my accountant. You're not my accountant. F- fuck off. <laughs> Let me tell you. And I've, I've said this so many times. I buy one dumb thing every year. One fucking stupid thing that I don't need to keep me going every year. Once. One dumb thing. Unless I do two monumental things. Last year, I got two things. Because I finished a tour, and I did a comedy special. But generally, because I do one tour a year, that's my nice little achievement. After the tour is done, if I've made money, I buy one dumb thing. And I bought that hat after my second or no my third tour which was two a year ago 18 months ago and I've had that hat ever since and I've never bought another dumb hat I buy one dumb thing every year and then I live like a fucking dog for the rest of it and it's not because I couldn't afford the dumb thing No, it's because I buy the one dumb thing that I can afford and then I live like a dog so that I can keep doing tours and stay independent. A lot of you cunts keep acting like my accountant and the reason I bring this up is (laughs) I was walking in the city, right? I think it was two days ago. I was walking in the city uh, because we were interviewing. I had to be around the radio station, which is in the city, 
and uh, we were interviewing Andy Lee from Hamish and Andy, well, which will actually be on tonight's show. So I'll release this podcast and then Monday or... Well, tonight you can listen to it on radio, but if you don't have a radio um, or you listen on the podcast, it should be out on Monday, I think. Uh, so that, the, And that was really fucking funny, actually. Um, but anyway, it's no slide season. I can't let this slide. You can't need to stop acting like my accountant, right? I'm walking down the street... And this dude stops me. He's wearing a really nice suit and he's got headphones in. And he goes, oh man, oh dude. I, like he was really confused. I saw his, I saw him looking at me and he, he freaked out in a weird, like in a way I've never seen something. Because sometimes people freak out because they're like, oh, they're a little bit starstruck. I don't know why, because it's just fucking me. But anyway, the guy sees me and he freaks out and he goes, oh man. And then he pulls out his phone and he shows me, he's like, I'm listening to the podcast. So it must have been really fucking weird to be listening to me and then you see me not talking. That would have that would have freaked me out. But that was funny. So he showed me the podcast and I was like, oh, dude, that's like, it freaked me out too. I was like, oh, man, amazing. That's cool. Hey, man, what's your name? Thanks for listening, blah, blah. And then uh, we got talking a little bit and then he, he points at my jacket and he goes, oh, dude, you're, um, you're wearing a jacket. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, I thought you were on jeans money. Like, dude, you're not my accountant. I got this. I got this fucking jacket years ago, man. The jacket that I was wearing, I got two years ago, and then I didn't buy another jacket until I made it to four hundred dollars a week jacket money, and then I got this one that I'm currently wearing, and I think I got this one a year ago, and I haven't got another jacket since because I've been demoted, and I can only buy jeans, and I don't need jeans. And I let it slide because it wasn't no, it was not no slide. It was slide season a couple of days ago. It was so I let it slide. But today, ladies and gentlemen, it's no slide season. So if you, if so, I'm not going to let it slide. All right. If you try and be my accountant in person, it's not sliding. I'm going to rip you. If you leave a dumb, if you leave dumb shit in my comment section, me and everyone else listening to this, you're going to get fucked up. It's no slide season. No slide season 2018. It's free, you dumb cunt. I want to see that. I want like a campaign poster in the Speared Sunday's podcast group by Monday. And you know what? If I don't see that shit by Monday, I'm going to write in the group, it's free, you dumb cunt. No slide season 2018. That's the deadline. But on my desk by Monday. I've always wanted to say that shit, man. But I don't have a desk. So I don't know. Like, like if, if I walked up, like, to my editor, who's working on a little review, if I walked up to him, and I went, you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right now, the poor cunt. Actually, no, uh, I'm, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> but you know what's funny, though, is, um, he, he, he needs to do this by Sunday. Monday's tomorrow. Hey, Keelan. 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 He's wearing headphones. Hey, Keelan. I want that on my desk Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, it sounds way cooler in movies. I just confused the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain that to him before he thinks I'm fucking abusing him at work. All right, so it's no slide season. So he fucking he told me to fuck off. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. With that being said, uh, shall we get into miscellaneous bit at the end? Oh man, I'm so happy that it's no slide season, dude. Like I'm fucking, I'm actually really stoked to see how my, how my comment section just turns into a fucking battle zone. And hey, this doesn't mean, guys, this doesn't mean the rules of no slide season doesn't mean you just fight with anyone. All right, it's only dumb cunts. No slide season. It's it's a war. It's a justified war, and and there's no war crimes, meaning we don't just have a go at each other, right? We're exclusively targeting dumb cunts. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. No slide season. Where are we? All right. I got two emails. Oh, man, I got a fucking great update about the cuck story from last week. Uh, but, but, but first, uh, we have here the story of the mechanic and the receptionist. Hey Lewis, call me Zephyr. First off, I want to congratulate you on Death Threats Don't Scare Me. That shit was amazing. Thank you. 
Uh, also looking forward to being one of the five cunts that sees you in Canberra. Sorry, it's such a shithole. Hey, uh, actually, Canberra's actually selling really, really well, which is great. Uh, the first time it was a bit of a struggle, but now it's my second time there. It's great. It is It is still a shithole. I couldn't let that slide because, you know, no slide season. But but <laughs> but the tickets are going well, even though, even though it is a bit of a shithole. <clears throat> Sorry, man. It's no slide season. I'm sure you understand. Um, so basically this happened over a year ago when I was 17 and a half through my first year of my mechanic apprenticeship. I somehow attracted the attention of the 23 year old receptionist, let's call her Sandra. And me being the 17 year old I was, decided to take her up on her offer of a route. This went on for a few months while getting continuously more kinky. Let's just say chains, whips and other toys were used. What do you mean let's just say, let's just say? No, dude. That's fucking insane. You were 17 getting fucking whipped by a 23-year-old woman. That's fucking mental, dude. Hang on. Hang on. Chains, whips, and other toys. This chick was fucking putting shit in your ass? I mean, what other toys are there? Ball gag. Uh... I don't know my bondage equipment very well. Evidently. Uh, let's call it blah, blah, blah. Uh, change whips and other toys were used. Anyway, eventually my boss found out about Sandra and I. He told me that Sandra's previous employer told him that two of her previous boyfriends had taken out anti-violence orders against her. Oh, okay, so this bitch just preys on her co-workers and then beats the fuck out of him. She's like a black widow, man. Fast forward a couple of months and unfortunately I had grown attached to her and completely disregarded the warnings my boss gave me. Things in the bedroom had gotten more kinky and I was coming to work with a few bruises which did not go unnoticed. But I, pay I played them off as usual mechanic injuries. I would got it into this <clears throat> hoping for some regular vanilla sex but things had gotten completely out of hand. I talked to her about it, and I told her I didn't want this dominatrix-style shit anymore. Sandra told me she understood, and that we would just have vanilla sex for a while. That weekend, she went to a kink party and got gangbanged by four blokes, and sent videos of them fucking her to me, telling me how this is real men should behave. Fuck. I split from her... When my boss heard what happened, he promptly fired her. Sorry, it's a bit long. I tried to keep it short. Hope you have a shit one. Fuck me, man. I'm telling you guys. This was before my comedy special came out. If you have never watched my comedy special, you're going to get cucked. This is what happened. I had, I had not released a comedy special when this guy was 17. Now he has seen it. So he'll, ne he'll never be cucked again. I'm telling you, dude. This can't be a coincidence. That's two emails in a row, dude. If you don't watch my special, you're going to get cucked. That's fucking crazy, man. What's with chicks? I mean, surely that's that's so stupid, like, on her end. Because I feel like surely she's just asking for you to share that shit. I mean, obviously you never should share nudes and videos and stuff without permission, but... I feel like if someone's going to send you a fucking nude out of the blue maliciously to hurt your feelings, I mean, the, the obvious answer to fuck up them is to just put it everywhere. I mean, she, she, you know what, man? She's fucking lucky that it wasn't no slide season because you let it slide. But now, if, if she was to do that today, as of August 26, Sunday 2018... The beginning of no slide season, you wouldn't have let that slide. And that would have been it. Yeah, that's fucking nuts, dude. Uh, but I'm glad you enjoyed the special. I hope it prevents you from being cucked in the future. Speaking of cucks, we have an update uh, on the, the, uh, the cuck lord uh, from last week, Belthazar. <clears throat> who didn't buy my comedy special and uh, that led to him getting cucked. Short recap of the story is uh, this guy started seeing a new girl, started dating her, having sex, all that. It was going really well. She texted him out of the blue saying, hey, I'm I'm a little bit kinky, uh, just so you know. Um, I want to try something kinky, but I need your permission first before you know what it is. And I said, 
that's rape. You can't give consent to something you don't know what it is because uh, that's rape. <clears throat> but anyway, the guy said, yeah, sure, whatever, thinking that it was going to be like anal or, anal or a threesome. And then she sent him a video of her fucking someone else. And she was like, ta-da! And, and he let that slide because it wasn't no slide season. But now that it is, let's see what happens. <clears throat> G'day, Lewis. It's me again, Balthazar, the almighty cuck lord. First off, I'd like to apologize for my shit spelling in my last email. I was slightly drunk that night. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Secondly, yes, the new World of Warcraft update is amazing. Hashtag Horde forever, unless you are one of those Alliance Cretans, in which case, fuck off, you heathen. No, I'm Horde. I'm a troll warrior. Uh, because of course I am. I mean, that's why I'm in real life. Why would it be any different online? Anyway, here's an update on my fuck situation. So I followed your first set of advice. The update on the get my comedy special, you dog advice, uh, where you where you basically where you basically said to tell her I'm not into that and drop her, dude. I, I, were you drunk when you wrote this too? <laughs> uh, that night and the day after, she seemed to be taking it well, but the second day of her being gone out of my life, I went over to a mate's house to get high, and then I drove down the street to get some food. Uh, so I get my food and I go back to my car and drive back to my friend's house. When I get to his house, I just see him glance at my car and start pissing himself laughing. So I check what's funny and my car has this long ass scratch in it. Oh no. And I was like, some cunt fucking scraped against my car. So I did what every retarded millennial does and posted an angry rant on social media and go back to getting toasty. Dude, she, she would have done that. She scratched your car. You know why? Because it was no slide season. She, <laughs> she was like, well, if this guy's not going to let me fuck other people and film it and send it to him, I'm going to scratch his car. That night, just as I'm leaving my friends, I get a message from Violet. So I checked it thinking it was going to be some cut, bit, cut, some cut bitch speech about how bad my decision was and how small my cock was. But it's a video of this absolutely crazy bitch keying my car. I should mention that I live in the middle of nowhere in Australia in a small town. Uh, so it's not like she did it. In, uh, blah, blah, She's. I live in a small town. She scratched my car, calling me a cunt and stuff like that. So being the dog I am, I reported her to the police. Because there was no slide season! Yes, dude! Don't let that shit slide. It was no slide season. She didn't let you slide. You didn't let her slide. There was no sliding because it's no slide season. It's free, you dumb cunt. Um, I reported it to the police. Uh, she spent a, a day in jail, probably getting her hole split by some butch dyke in a denim vest. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the last I heard of her. Um, now, it's time to talk about the comedy special. So I heard your podcast and you getting uh, offended over me not getting your special. And I'm not going to lie, it did not change my mind. I wasn't going to get it. Hey man, I'm telling you, if you don't get my special, you're going to get cucked again. That's just how it works. You heard, it's two emails in a row now. If you don't get my special, you're going to get cucked. That what I it did not change my mind. I wasn't going to get it. That was until I was playing... Prowling Tinder, looking for a rebound backup route. And I came across this chick. We'll call her something extravagant, like Adepta Sororitas. Oh, just to make a subtle Warhammer 40,000 reference. Yes, I appreciate that. So what drew me to <coughs> to Miss Sororitas was her picture. Uh, what drew me to her was a picture of her with uh, a Snapchat text banner on it with... Seeing Lewis Spears live tonight, looking in it. Oh, cool. So she saw my show. Um, so I swiped right for the memes. After we matched, I hit her up with some absolutely terrible references to your stuff and pickup lines around you. And somehow this works. And I get myself a date and eventually a route at her place. Congratulations to you both. Um, so we're there just chilling, talking mad shit after, and I bring up the story of Violet, and halfway through, she stops me and says, holy fuck, are you that Balthazar fuckwit from, <laughs> from Miscellaneous Bit at the End? And I shamefully say yes, and after she's done laughing, she gets up and grabs her laptop and starts playing Death Threats Don't Scare Me for me! I told you, bro! 
The, mi the minute you start watching my special, it gets you late. If you don't watch it, you're going to get cut. Oh, man, this girl's a fucking legend. She grabs her laptop and starts playing Dune. Man, I wish I could make this shit up. Um... It'd make my podcast so much better if some... I, I never get shit like this. This is like three weeks in a row of like amazing miscellaneous bit at the end shit. And I shamefully say yes. And you know why? If I was to make it up, I would spell it way better so it would be less hard to read. And I shamefully say yes. After she's done laughing, she gets up and grabs her laptop and starts playing Death Threats Don't Scare Me for me because, and I quote, I usually tell my friends about the guys I sleep with and I think they'll be unimpressed if all I can say is, yeah, I fucked a retard last night, so let's cure your autism. So she thought you were fucking retarded until you watched my special. So cheers, cunt. Because of the accursed miscellaneous bit at the end, not only did I get a root, I got your comedy special for free, as long as Miss Sororitas lets me keep smashing. And I gotta say, it's surprisingly excellent. Hook a boy up with a link so I can get a physical copy Copy uh, if there's any DVDs left. Yeah, lewspears.com slash watchman. You can grab a DVD there and they're all signed. Uh, sorry it's a long one. Have a shit one, Louis. Balthazar. Um, the comedy special was great. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you've, I'm glad that you've gotten to see it uh, after all of that. Um, and uh, yeah, lewspears.com slash watch if you want to grab the comedy special because uh, otherwise, hey, I'm, I'm just saying, we've had fucking three emails in a row that... If you don't, if you if you don't get the special, you're gonna get cucked. And if you do get the special, you're gonna get a great route. He got the special. He had a great route. She got the special. She got to fuck a retard. <laughs> oh man. Um, but thank you very much for listening. That's the end of the podcast. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, my tour is on sale now. Loosebeers.com slash gigs to get your tickets. I'm going all over Australia. New Zealand will be announced soon. We're working on it. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Sydney, fucking get your tickets now. It's going to sell out. Um, same with Brisbane. You know what? All of the shows are, are really selling well except for Bendigo. So if you're from Bendigo, please help me. Um, but all the other ones are going great. I really recommend you get them. I know normally they sell out like a week before the, the, the show happens. It, it's not going to happen this time. It's fucking crazy. I think we've really underbooked it. But that's a great problem to have. So thank you very much uh, for everyone who's getting tickets. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoy the radio show tonight if you listen to it. And uh, I'm also going to have a Luna review up tonight too. So uh, hey, enjoy guys. Thank you very much for listening. And I will see you next Sunday. Have a shit one. No slide season 2018. It's free, you dumb cunts.